Now we're going to move through some code on the website. And so we're on the stay with some control structures. And what we have to start with is the selections. We have one way, two way, and then we have multi way, nested if, and case. So we're going to start with um, one way and two way selections. So we're going to go to the Visual Studio. We go File, New, Project. And we're going to do a console application. And this is a selection statements. Okay. Okay, so we've got a new project here. So in main, we're going to, so if we look at this, we have if A is greater than B, then output A is greater than B and if. So to do that here, we actually need to create some some uh, some variables. And so A and B, we're gonna we're gonna just assume they're integers. Doesn't specify that in the um, pseudocode, but in C sharp, we do have to declare the variable types. Um, it's a strictly typed language. So we go int. That's a, a, a they have a number of integers available to us. And while we need to be aware of that for C sharp because they are different sizes, so an int sixteen can hold a smaller number than an int thirty two and an int sixty four based on the fact that it allocates a certain size memory space. So you should be aware of that. Remember that uh, we generally we talk about memory spaces at 8 bits, and in int 16 will give us uh, two lots of, of that, allowing us to, to store a, a num number that's that will fit in that space. But for now, we're just going to go with int. Uh, and when you're dealing with pseudocode, you don't even necessarily have to declare what type of variable it is. Um, but um, in this, we know that int is a simple data type, so we just need to remember our simple data types, which is int, uh, real, or float, and then uh, boolean, and character. Okay, so for this instance, we're going to use an integer, and we're going to call this a. Now, in this, in this case, a is not a very descriptive name, so we're just going to use this as an example, but if you were to do this in your, in your project, Simply naming it A is not good enough. You'd have to be very specific about what's in a, what, what is in this variable uh, and name it appropriately. So we're going to say A equals 1, and then close that, and then int B equals 2, close that. So now we have two variables um, called A and B, and they contain, that memory location contains now a number. Now what you'll see is um, there's some green highlighted underneath A and B. And if you look down here, there's some warnings. It's just saying A has been assigned to the U. So, sorry, we've assigned it a value, but we haven't actually used it anywhere. Um, it will do that, and it's it's not going to error. It's not going to create an error. Um, there's something to be aware of that it might show up down the bottom there. So now we're going to go into the um, selection statement, and so we go. We start with a um, a one way, and so we go if. Now it's all lowercase here, so if, then we open parentheses, A is greater than B, we don't need to type then, um, but we do need to put uh, open and close, curly braces. So if A is greater than B, then we're going to output, so we'll just double check what the, the code says. So if A is greater than B, then we're going to output A is greater than B. So as we saw in our last project, that is console.write line, and then open quote, open parentheses and open quote marks, A is greater than B. Close quote marks, close parentheses, and close that. Finish that line off. Okay, and we'll run that code, control F5. And so, here's the thing. If A is greater than B, we're going to say A is greater than B. Is A greater than B? No, it's not. So let's change those numbers around. 3 is obviously now greater than uh, 2. So we control F5. A is greater than B. Okay. So now we're going to move on to a uh, multi-way. So we change those numbers back. A equals 1. B equals 2. So if A greater than B, console right line, A is greater than B. Else... And again, we open parentheses, oh, sorry, open curly brace and close curly brace. 
Now, when you're doing this, the temptation is to open the curly brace, start typing what you want to happen, and then you think, oh, then I'll close the curly brace. Well, in, in, pra in, in practice, in reality, you often forget that, and you'll be looking for the error. And we'll, look, we'll see what that looks like in a minute. So this will be console.writeline is greater than a close quote close parenthesis and semicolon so I'm just going to delete this curly brace and so here we go the the error has popped up so this is a syntax error and it says curly brace expected on line 25 column 2 so line 25 column 2 is expecting a curly brace Add that one back. So if you ever get lost, um, you can always count them up. So this one closes this one, this one closes this one, this one closes that, that closes that, and that closes that. Um, if you don't indent your code, it makes this job extremely difficult. You must indent your code at all times. Um, when you're doing pseudocode, it makes it easier to mark, therefore you're more likely to get a higher mark in the exam, and it's easier for you to debug at the end of it. You can read through this a whole lot easier than if everything was flat up to the side. Okay, so we'll run this, Control F5, B is greater than A, and as we can see here, B is greater than A, so it went, it, it, it said, it found this didn't equate to true, so in that case, this this happens. 